Hello owners and Michael Costa Racing fans, welcome to episode 87 of Michael Costa Racing TV. On this episode we have the week that has been, up and coming runners, Woodford Reserve Owner of the Week, Track Worker of the Week and a quick little wrap up. Zumbin, she can sing, we said it was going to be a little bit nippy for her over 1050 and just having the long distance between runs nor in a normal world, we wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have liked to have given up the lead. You would have thought there would have been some pressure on the race to put onto the leader, but it didn't pan out that way. She can sing was gallant, but she's probably got a little bit of a stitch late and uh, the winner just got that soft run in front on a, uh, on a leader sort of track. So very happy the way she pulled up, she can sing. She should be ready for a big assignment this weekend here at the Metro meeting at the Gold Coast, over 1200, which is, uh, which is her preferred distance. We then had more than number one. The plan for him was to head to the 1200 metre race, but he drew the car park. So we stepped him into the 1350, having eight weeks between runs. We didn't uh, expect there to be such a hot tempo, just got too far back. But uh, Malian copped a bit of slack for this ride, but this horse just needs to really find his rhythm and momentum. The horse ran super, probably just hit his run and peak at the last 100, but couldn't have been happier with, uh, with how he's come back and he, that would have put the cherry on top. He'll be rock hard fit leading into this Saturday at, uh, at the Gold Coast as well. We unfortunately had to scratch Manhood, who is uh, one of our hype horses. He just had a little bit of mucus and a setback, so we just tipped him off to the paddock. He'll be back in training in roughly in about a week or so's time. Gold Coast, we had Vivan, she hit the front and uh, she's showing that she's probably just stargazing a little bit once she gets out to the front. So I think the recipes for success for her will be blinkers or winkers down the line and probably just ridden a little bit, uh, little bit more cold. But uh, look, another good enough run without setting the house on fire, but uh, she does need to improve. We're just still trying to work her out a little bit if she is gonna get over a little bit of ground. Uh, if that doesn't pan out, we might have to reassess and freshen her up over to some uh, shorter distances, but we're just testing the water with her at the moment. Sir Rocket, he really wanted to throw it away, wanting to lug in behind the, behind the leader's back. Once Jag got him straightened up, he was just going far too good and good to get another win with, uh, with Sir Rocket. Uh, this week we had Lady Rain Harvester head down to head down to Grafton. Lady Rain was super from the wide gate. Leaders track down there at Grafton. They ran a uh, run, ran a class record. Uh, there was no way of catching the leader with the run we had in transit, but it was a really good effort for her in a first up run in a race. She should be winning in her next couple of starts. Harvester, same story. He got amongst it. Probably a little bit of a jagged run on the top of the straight, but um, no way catching the leader again. But uh, first up fourteen hundred. He was still a little bit dusty in the coat and he's come on really well from that first up run with a positive trip away and he should be looking to notch up his first win pretty quickly as well. Finally on the day we had Regimental Band. The plan for her was to head over to race this week on Wednesday with a rain affected track but her race got carved up by scratchings with only a six horse field. Good gait, so we wanted to press forward on a leader's track, but unfortunately she settled at the back of the field. She swooped, which you can't do at uh, Ipswich on a leader's track, and uh, she was very, um, I thought it was a very good run for her. She's a new horse, which has come up from, uh, from down south, and it was just good to see her wanting to be there and to, to run well. So I think if we can get her onto a bigger track over a little bit further, she should be notching up a, a win as well. So three seconds on the day, but if we place all them right, they should be, uh, should be three winners coming up very, very soon with that, uh, with that bunch. Saturday, Gold Coast, Mama's Rose, a good run in transit, was getting a little bit of feeling she could be coming to the end of the prep, but uh, she got every, every run, every chance possible in the race, but unfortunately she just folded the last 100 and really didn't hit the line. So we're just assessing if it was her being at the end of the prep or she doesn't get a genuine um, mile plus. We'll, uh, we'll test that water once she comes in back in next pre preparation, but she's had a successful first preparation and she's off to the paddock now. Host win Tornado, we wanted him to run at Ballina tomorrow, but with the rain predicted, we went uh, the safer option we felt with the inside gate. Unfortunately, he missed the kick. We wanted to be up there on the bunny on a leader's track, but uh, after missing the kick, he over raced in the run. Very few horses can uh, get a run like that in transit and finish off. And he just, uh, he really just ground, ground to the line. So I'd just rule a line through, uh, through that run. One winner, six placings. But uh, as we all know, even though the six placings run well, if you're not first, you're last. So 
Hopefully those six placings can turn into winners in the up and coming weeks. Up and coming, should have a busy Saturday. The Metro meeting here at the Gold Coast will uh, be back live on Friday to discuss those runners once all the fields are out. Uh, tomorrow we have Ballina if it's not too wet. We'll see what the weather's doing. Uh, same race, uh, we've got Brave Nick and Vivan in the same race. We'll decide how we're going to split them up a little bit closer to the race, most likely on race morning. Brave Nick's not the greatest fan of a heavy track, but Vivan does get through it really well. Negative is Vivan's drawn the outside, one of the outside alleys. So look, I'd say Vivan be hard to beat if she goes there and gets a good run in transit. Brave Nick uh, starting to pick up, but he still just hasn't blown our socks off yet. Uh, I think he's just, we're still trying to work out the preparation for, for him. So maybe a, maybe a place chance if he went there. Uh, we've also got hot news. She heads down there. If it's going to be a heavy track first up after a long break, could be a, could be a negative. She has come up favourite. Um, but she has been working well and has found a nice sort of race, really improve off the back of this first up run. I'd say if she's each way odds, she's an each way chance without, without being immoral, but she should run well enough. That's it. Our Woodford Reserve Owner of the Week goes to Steve Brown. So last week we received a message from Shelley Brown Steve's wife on, on social media and this is how it read. Hi guys, I just wanted to thank you for your professionalism. My husband has had some poor trainers and nearly lost any passion he had for racing until buying a share in Perfect Mission. Steve has regained his passion and he's so excited for the prospect of being part of the team. Thanks again, Michael and team. So I got back in contact with Shelly and I said, you're a, Steve's a dead set favorite for owner of the week with the message like that. And uh, just asked for a little bit more context on the back end of the story of Steve. And she said, uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit of a story of my husband and how Costa Racing reinvigorated his passion for racing. Steve had a tough run the last two years, the last horse he was in. Continual setbacks from feet problems, knocking himself out of, out of the breakers. Uh, ulcers and the list goes on. Whilst the horse took forever to get to the track for two starts, uh, the disappointment of not being very fast was another blow. The horse had three trainers over the time, two providing no updates, photos or plan of where, where, where to next. With the last trainer, Steve would call for an update to pass on to the other two owners, only to hear the same thing every week. Yes, mate, going good, all good. We would ask for a photo of the horse, which would take um, take a couple of reminders and three weeks to arrive. To stay, stay the com to say the communication was poor is an understatement. So when the horse retired, we gave gave him our place. Uh, Todd Riggs, who's also in per perfect mission, had been following Costa Racing and immediately said that they're, that's where they're going to race their next horse and Steve came along. The whole experience with Costa Racing has been first class from ownership to meeting Michael with perfect mission at the stables to the weekly updates to YouTube videos. Looking forward to her first start in a couple of weeks. Always speak very highly of the Costa Racing team whenever someone asks us how she's going. Thanks again. Steve lives in his MCR shirt. So... Thank you very much, Steve, for being such a big supporter of the stable. Our perfect mission is um, my horse girlfriend in the barn. I absolutely love this, love this girl. And uh, knowing that you live in your MCR shirt, we're going to have to send you another fresh one. So, um, so you've got a couple of change, change into and a bottle of Woodford Reserve is on its way as well. Well done, Steve. Track worker of the week goes to Eric Kanji. He was purchased for 30,000 on the same sale as more than number one. And uh, he's going extremely well. He was up to trial stage last preparation, but he just had a small knock on his leg. Just bruised it a little bit and we had to just give him a decent spell. I, I think the additional spells in the world are good. He's come back in, he's flying, he's ready to head off to the trials. And I'll be very surprised if he's not genuine Saturday class and above here in South East Queensland. So very excited for Eric Kanji to hit the track in the up and coming weeks. MCR Golf Day, we sent it out and we had we could have had a three-day tournament. We were inundated with requests for teams and that wasn't even including all the Southerners which couldn't come up. So unfortunately, we could only fit as many teams as we could fit in. But if you've missed out, don't worry, we'll definitely have another golf day down the line. You'll get the first uh, first selection into the teams. Uh, we've also had a few uh, people down from down south which weren't uh, unable to come, but they wanted to contribute to the day. We will be running raffles and auctions on the day to raise money for the retired racehorse fund. So if you've got any prizes you'd like to put up for auction, just get in contact at info at michaelcostaracing.com.au to be a part of the day. 
wrap up. Uh, here we go. We purchased another Breeze Up horse from the NZB Breeze Up sales of Spill the Beans postponement. He's a uh, cutest fellow and we'll do a full send out for him in uh, throughout the database in the next 24 hours. And uh, it was great to see Count de Rupee win down there, down south. Uh, we purchased the full brother at the Magic Millions January sale this year for 180,000 and we're very excited about him. And also a big congratulations to the Price family down there. They're just good people, uh, great trainers and uh, it's always great just to see good people winning, uh, winning big races as well. So well done down there. And uh, that's it. Have a great week, everyone. We'll be in touch on Friday with uh, hopefully some big runners on Saturday. Yeah.